kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to use the JSON parsing in Android. So basically, we will parse the JSON uh, string. I mean, we will get the, the JSON file and we will try to parse it using JSON. JSON is uh, a Google library which can be found online so you can easily integrate it in your android studio so first of all i want to show you the introduction of what is the json and how we can use it to parse the r json okay so here you guys you can see uh, what is json so JSON is a Java library, library that can be used to convert Java objects into their JSON representations. So it can also be used to convert a JSON string into an equivalent Java object. Okay, so basically, the as you guys know that we have objects in our um, JSON, and so we want to parse the, 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 the JSON files. So we convert the JSON objects into are java objects and after that we can easily access the objects using our java code okay so we will have the object all right so i will show you how we can do that so basically we can uh, we can also convert the json to json and json to json okay so in in this video i am going to show you how to convert json to json okay so we will have a json file and we will try to parse it so for first of all what you guys want to do is okay so first of all basically we need an asset folder so so, so that we read the uh, so that we read the json file so first of all click on right click on java click new and click on folder and you need to select assets folder and just click finish after that you will be able to see this assets folder here let's create a new okay so basically let's try to uh, open okay so you need to click on show in explorer and inside your assets so you, you need to have the json file so first of all let's create a text file and let's try to create a simple json so first of all the object will be so let's say personal details and after that we will have name okay then we will have this here we will have name and it will be hello and after that we will have age and let's say we have 12 all right so after that we will have another object in our json string so here we can say father json and we will try to create objects of these personal details and further details all right so let's try to okay so open it and click save as and you will be able to okay so let's name it as abc.json okay so it will we will have this abc and let's try to delete it and let's okay so now inside our assets folder so here you guys can see we have okay so basically we will need to close 
our client okay so it is our json file and after that what we are going to do is um, okay so now we need to write or uh, we need to read the json file so for that let's go to our main activity and here we will have okay let's try to remove that and here you guys can see we have the button and let's try to change the button as read json okay so now first of all you need a method for read json and let's try to set the on click method to read json all right so after that we will try to read uh, we will try to read the file inside our asset folder so first of all we can say string json string equals to null and after that we can say input stream input stream equals to get assets dot open and inside that we can simply say abc dot json Albert and here you guys can see we need to catch the exception so for that and we can say e dot exception and we will cut that and paste it here so after that after we use the input stream to read so we need the size and we can say input stream dot available all right and after that we will need a byte byte array of buffer as you guys can see so we will store the total actual size so here we can say size okay so we have the byte array and finally we will just try to read input stream dot read and what we are going to read is uh, will be inside our buffer all right and we will uh, save the data inside our buffer i mean the byte array so now we just need to close the input stream and finally we can get so we can say json string equals to new string and here we can say buffer and the it will be uh, the character set so we need to convert that so we can say utf dash 8 all right that is it we have successfully uh, read read the file so if we want to display our file so we can simply say get application context json string let me connect my phone and let me show you the output so that you have an idea of what we have done so far let's try to run the app and let's see the output in our json format ok so here if we click on read json and here you guys can see we are successfully uh, we have read the string so now after that we need to now parse and start our actual coding okay so for that first of all you need to go to your build.gradle and you need to have the dependency for json so you can just copy that and paste it here and you now need 
need to click on sync now and after that it will be easily synchronized okay so now we, what we are going to do is so basically it is json so we can say json json equals to new json all right and now we need to create some uh, classes pojo classes so first of all as you guys can see we have these two so first of all we will create a, a post class okay and inside that we will have the two objects here two different objects uh, one will be the personal details and the other will be father details so first of all let's create the two classes so first class will be personal details and the second one will be the details all right and inside our personal details so we can say public or simply we can okay make sure that you have the same spelling of this name and age as specified in your json file okay make sure it is same if it is uh, different let's say name so you will have error okay so you need to make sure that both the names uh, should be same so after that inside our uh, father details so we can say what what name father name and father age so here we can simply say public string father name and father age all right that was it we have successfully created these two pojo classes now we need to go to our post class and inside that we can say public and we will create first of all the personal details object and the second one will be public father details father details all right so now okay so now you also need to make sure that you have this the correct spelling here so for that we can say personal details and let's try to also change the father details to this one all right so uh, it is done so after that inside here what we are going to do is and you guys know that it's very simple so first of all we can say post equals to and here we can say json dot from json this is the method which we are going to use json dot from json there it will have the two um, arguments so first of all first of all we will have the json string and the second one will be post dot class all right so now we have the post object here and now we can easily access any of the object here we have the personal details object and we have father details object okay let's say if we want to find the father name okay so how can we do that so we can simply say post dot father details dot father name all right so if we want to display in toast message so we can simply say and say post dot other details dot other name and now let's try to run our application and let me show you the output and here you guys can see if i click on read this read json and first of all the it is printed and after that you guys and see father is printed this value all right S similarly there is are uh, a lot of examples uh, if you are uh, accessing the json uh, api so you can easily create your objects using the 
suggestion so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and also i will make another video in which i will have uh, a, a, a complex json fi file and i will try to access the weather api and i will show you how to parse it so if you guys want to see my another video please search on my channel all right guys so goodbye